black women are less attractive than other races. That's the controversial claim made by a scientist at the London School of Economics this week. Evolutionary psychologist Satoshi Kanazawa used questionable research to prove that in a study of physical attractiveness, black women are less attractive than whites, Asians and Native Americans. Controversial, outrageous and downright racist, or science we might not want to hear, but fair game all the same. Well, to answer those questions and more, local broadcast journalist Charlie McKenzie, um, African-Caribbean beauty expert Joanna Thompson and uh, broadcaster Dawn B join me in the studio this afternoon. Um, I should add, before we get talking, that the scientist behind this study was invited on the show to defend his research, but uh, failed to respond to our requests. Uh, so, Charlie, first to you. What did you think when you first heard about this research? Uh, I thought it was a joke. It's absolutely ridiculous. How dare he say that black women are unattractive? In society, we're already put down. And um, I think I've come in your show before and spoken a bit about that. And how, how I'm just disgusted. How dare he say that about black women? We're so beautiful as a race, not just in looks, in intelligence as well. The thing that I thought when I first heard this research is if he's talking about how the perception is, it's something that I would agree with. We are in a society where there is a huge um, misrepresentation of black beauty and black beautiful women. You don't see it enough in the media, you don't see it in magazines. Um, from that aspect, I would agree that it's a perspective that, that is wrongly is held to be the case. Yep, but I what agree. he's actually saying is that that is the case, that, that whether or not you, you like it or not, black women are less attractive. With that in mind, should scientists steer clear of, of certain topics just because they might offend? Um, I don't believe they should stay clear of certain topics, but what, what shocks me is the fact that there's nothing to back up his research. He said he was in a meeting and um, he had a few people from each races um, making that decision. He never said how many people, he never said where the research was done. It could be done, if it's done in America then it's obvious what's what what the outcome would come. But I mean in other places in the world black is beautiful it's black, black is beautiful anyway, but there's nothing to back up his research behind his claims. It's disgusting. Uh, Joanna, in your case, you've run a salon specialising in natural African and Caribbean hair and beauty for quite some time here in Nottingham. Yeah. Is this uh, something that you can kind of see any truth in his claims? Is there something that people are internalising perhaps and thinking, yeah, I'm not beautiful, I don't want to look like a natural African or Caribbean woman? I think um, if we were more confident within ourselves, this man wouldn't have a leg to stand on. He wouldn't be able to go out and do this research. He wouldn't be able to put it out there to everybody that black women are less attractive than everybody else because if we were already full of confidence powerful out there showing how we look and how we are and are proud of it he won't be able to say anything i think people like him dash them to the ground they don't even watch them <laughs> at all i mean i know i'm beautiful or you three women know you're beautiful and a lot of black women out there know they're beautiful you don't need somebody to go and do a research to suggest that we aren't beautiful. Do you think that women will internalise this and, and perhaps even though we might say it's a load of rubbish, we might internalise it and take it away that perhaps I'm not as beautiful as a white woman or an Asian woman, in this case or a Native American woman, as his research suggests? Some women already do because they look at... Because we live in a society that is... Uh, the beauty is perceptive of a European idealistic of beauty. If it was more Afrocentric afromantic afrolicious if it was more about us and our powerful beingness um it wouldn't come to light in the first place i mean a lot of people just don't feel comfortable with themselves which means that there's a confidence issue there's a massive one and it's it stems far back i mean it's in the family it's with our partners it's it's there i mean if we if it wasn't there this topic wouldn't even come up and we wouldn't have to talk about it today the strange thing about this study is that whilst he claims, according to his research, um, that black women are less attractive, he says that black men are more attractive than other races. Mm. Is this just reflecting um, what society thinks rather than science proving it? I think without a doubt that's what society thinks. Um, the whole black men being attractive, we've heard that in society for so long. And I think even in the media, black men are portrayed as being number one. And, and in society and I think black women do tend to come like below that and I think it, literally his research is just backing up what the media is saying yeah. basically. You have to remember that without the black woman there wouldn't be the black man. That's very Point. true. So <laughs> black women are obviously beautiful and are the forefront and are the, the on the pedestal of the planet of the world. We were here first you know. The very first race on this planet. The um, After that came uh, Chinese say, then came the Asians, 
them came Europeans, we was here first. Do you think this this outlook on race, Dawn, um, is setting us back, that there's an idea of certain races are more beautiful? It's not different perceptions of beauty. As they say, our beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I think... I think the point about this is that it's an opinion. That's what we need to bear in mind. And yes, I do agree that because there is such a lack of black presence, female black presence, beautiful black presence, then it's almost what do you look to. If you asked a child, I think there was a study quite a while ago with little black girls and they were shown Im um, dolls of different colours. Black dolls, kind of hispanic looking mixed-race dolls, white dolls. And they would choose the... In fact, I think they chose the mixed-race doll above them all. And they wanted, but black was always the last. And even though these were dark-skinned black little girls, their view of that wasn't beautiful. Mm -hmm. But then on the flip side of that, what about Iman, Naomi Campbell, mm -hmm. or the, even yeah. the lighter shades of Beyonce, Rihanna? What about these people, Alexandra Burke? Mm -hmm. These are people that are beautiful in inverted commas, and they are in our, they are in the forefront. You know, I think it's just in, terms of the, in the eyes of the beholder and also a, a just an opinion. And with regards to the black man being more attractive, is it really his face we're talking about? That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Family listening time. Yeah. Less no, that's what I'm saying. But, no, that's what I'm saying. It's, it, why is the black man more attractive? What about them? Is it because there are a lot of uh, white women with black men? Maybe the successful footballers, musicians. Why is? I've always thought that. Why is it that? When a black man is successful, there's usually a white woman with him. For me, the problem with this research is that it, as you said, Charlie, is, is reflecting the way we look at things at the minute rather than, um, uh, well, he, he's putting it forward as science, that this is fact. Mm. That, for me, is the worry, that people will then say, well, it's science, we've had it proven, black women are less attractive. Do you think this is going to change the way um, we react to each other? How much of an effect is this science, scientific research going to well, have? I, I, I think in terms of um, somebody looking in, they will affect it. But I think as a black woman, it won't affect me. It, and it, it, I can't allow it to affect me. And I, I, there was another point I wanted you to raise as well with regards to Nottingham itself. I wasn't born in Nottingham. And when I was moving to Nottingham, people, kept, people said to me, Nottingham is mixed race city. And I, I, I didn't know what they were on about. And then I, I found out that it was because a lot of there's a lot of mixed couples here, especially black women with white men. So what makes a white man, in Nottingham specifically, choose a black woman? They can't, is it because they're the least attractive, that's why they've chosen them? There's something, there's something going on, do you know what I mean? So, and on top of that, people say about Nottingham, there's six women to one man. So why would a white man or another race man choose a black woman when they can have their pick of pick of women. I should add mm -hmm. in that the the scientist behind this study was asked to be involved in the discussion, but uh, didn't respond to our requests. Uh, Joanna, mm -hmm. beautiful natural African and Caribbean beauty is something that you are championing, and uh, you've got something going on, haven't you? Yes, I am relaunching my salon this Friday, the twenty seventh, formerly Naturals at Evinde. Um, we've had a whole new relaunch and change around thing coming on and we're doing holistic health and beauty because what we're about is upliftment because that's what we need upliftment, upliftment for the spirit beauty, the hair, knowing how to manage your natural hair ways, different ways of wearing natural hair different ways of caring for your natural hair and caring for your skin naturally because there's so much harmful chemicals out there everything is absorbed into the body everything is affected by what we're around so if we can at least use something a lot more natural deal with our hair in a way that we're not damaging our hair it will be a lot better and we'll feel a lot better as well uh, final word to you charlie on this what should we do with this uh, scientific research how should we take it oh, I, I think like I said, I'm, I am absolutely disgusted by it, Raya. And I think with this research, I think as black women, we need to remember that we are beautiful. And this is just one idiot who's used... He's probably had a black, bad experience with a black woman in the past and they've just literally just, just you know, just, just brought it out in a, in a scientific research way or whatever. We need to remember that we are beautiful and just... That's full stop, really. We are beautiful.